Okay, y'all, so I recently bought a lot of blush. And when I say a lot of blush, I mean a whole palette, which the review for that is coming, I think. I'm either gonna post it on here or on TikTok. I haven't decided yet. But today we're gonna be cleaning out my blush and highlight drawer because I have a ton of stuff that I just don't wear anymore. So I'm ready to declutter it. I think I'm finally ready. I hoard makeup, so it's kind of hard for me to get rid of stuff. But like this stuff, I literally haven't used in three years. So we're going to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to be just going through everything, telling you if I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to declutter it, and why. So let's get Also, into subscribe, like this video. I'm out of breath because I just ran inside. Let's just get the Kylie products out of the way. I have a ton of these cheek products from Kylie Cosmetics. So this is the Princess Please highlighter. I am gonna keep this one just cause I don't have a lot of highlighters that look like this in my collection. I'm also gonna keep this one in Cheers Darling. I don't know, I just have a sentimental attachment to this one cause I literally wore it every single day. This is French Vanilla. This was like when her highlighters first came out, like the really old packaging. I think I can give this one away. It's just not, it's like a weird yellow color. I'm not a huge fan of it and I never wear it. This is the blush in the shade Pink Power. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I used to wear this one a lot, but now I just like a more pigmented blush and this one's just very, very, very light. You can barely see it on my I'm skin. I'm also gonna declutter this. This is like a blush and highlight duo. This highlighter is terrible. It is so bad. You like, it doesn't, it looks fine. But on the skin, you can't even see it. It is, I hate I'm gonna this. keep this blush though. This is the shade Pink Power and I really like this blush. It's just like a really pretty, like it gives you that Kylie Jenner look to your cheeks. So I like getting rid of these. This is my ColourPop Super Shock highlighter. This is the shade Flexitarian. And then I also have this shade, which is Lunch Money. These are bomb. They are so good and I am definitely- I've been them. staring at this one. <laughs> This is the Too Faced Papaya Pop like blush duo and I really like using this side for like when I'm not wearing makeup, just something on my cheeks, but I think, I think I'm going to get rid of it because it is starting to get like hard pan in there and I don't know if I want to babysit a blush, so I think I'm going to get rid this of this. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in the shade That Peach though. Um, I don't really wear this one a whole lot. I don't think I'm going to get rid of it just yet. This is kind of new-ish. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I like wearing colors like these in the summer. So uh, no, no, I'm keeping both of these. I love my Patrick Ta blushes. Um, this is the shade She's Passionate. And then this one is the Cream and Powder Duo. This is the shade Do We Know Her. Both of these formulas are just amazing. If you like powder, go with this one. If you like a little bit of cream, go with this one. I have oily skin and the cream works really nicely for me. So I really, really, really love these blushes. This is the ABH Blush Trio. I'm gonna get rid of this. This one keeps falling out, um, so there's that. But I think I am gonna get rid of this one. It's just so old and it doesn't perform like the it Flower used to. Beauty Blush in the shade Spice Petal. This is one of my newer blushes. I really, really, really love this color. And this formula is just so pretty. This is like a really pretty nude shade. So I'm keeping this These are one. all my Becca blushes and I am keeping them, not just because Becca's going out of business, but because I actually really love them. This one's very broken, but it has sentimental purposes. So yeah, I'm keeping it. This one's, these two are so beautiful though. I mean, I can't wear this one anymore, but I'm not gonna give it to somebody shattered. So <laughs> we just don't open that one. We just don't talk about it, but I love Becca's blush formula. My cookie highlighter for Benefit. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one is like the most reflective highlighter. This is like my favorite highlighter. So definitely keep, oh, oh no. Good everyone. It's good. These are two blushes from Milani. I really like these. I have the shade Dolce Pink and then Luminoso. You know, they're just good like blush toppers. You can put them on top of anything because they are super, super shimmery. So I'm keeping both of those. I really okay, like so this is the Mega Glow highlighter from Wet n Wild. I don't even know what shade this is because it fell off. Um, no, this is just not it for me. I mean, it's a fine highlighter, but I would not reach for this over one of my high-end highlighters. I like luxury makeup, and I like feeling expensive when I wear makeup, so I'm not going to choose something like this unless it's just absolutely amazing, and I don't think Yeah, I know I have a lot of Becca highlighters. These are phenomenal, amazing. So this is the shade Moonstone. This is Rose Quartz. What's this? This one's Pearl. 
and then this one is prismatic amethyst these are phenomenal becca's highlighters are so good and now they're still available um on smashbox so you can still get your hands on these becca highlighters which i would highly recommend they are amazing phenomenal highlighters so i'm keeping all four of these i love all four this of these is shades. the nars blush in the shade angelica I personally love this blush. They don't make it anymore, but I'm not giving it away because I just love this color and I think it's a really good formula, so. <sighs> I don't know about this blush. I got this in a BoxyCharm. This is the Half Caked in Bloom blush. Ah. Oh, this is the shade Me and You, and it literally looks identical to the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. So like, do I keep it? No, okay, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I think I'm gonna give this one away and keep the Mare Minerals. This is my favorite blush formula of all time. This is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. And yes, I will be keeping all four of these because all four of these shades are so beautiful. So we have Dolly, Seychelles, Havana, and Mykonos. These are just the most beautiful pigmented they give your skin this beautiful, amazing glow. Yeah, no, keeping all So here's a couple of blushes from ColourPop. This is, first one is the shade Night Bloom. And I'm gonna be keeping this one because I don't have any other blushes that are this color. This is a really like fun lavender color, so I'm gonna keep that one. But this one I think I can give away. This is the shade On The Horizon. And I don't know, it's just not pigmented enough for me. When I put it on the skin, it just kind of blends away and it leaves this glitter. You see that glitter? I don't want that. So I think I'm going to give this one away. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. I love this highlighter. I'm trying to pan it. I don't know if you can tell. Love this highlighter. Will not give it away. This is a shade lit, by the I'm way. I'm going to get rid of this Touch and Soul Glodiant palette. I just, I used these two shades and like the combination is really pretty, but like I don't need a whole entire palette for something that my cookie highlighter can give me, you know? So I'm gonna give this away. Hopefully someone else will get much more this use. This is the NARS it. Exposed Cheek Palette. I really like this palette. I am gonna be keeping it. I use this a lot in my makeup kit. So I think that the colors in here are really nice. This is my Urban Decay Naked Illuminating Powder and I have to keep this. It is the first highlighter that I ever bought. I have to keep it. Don't tell me otherwise. This is a Too Faced Triple Scoop highlighting palette. I think I can give this one away. It's just really chunky. I tried to like it for a long time. I just don't. I just don't like it and I never use it so someone else can use this. This Too Faced palette however is literally my favorite. This is the Sugar and Peach palette. Look at that pan. Look at it. This is my favorite orange blush ever and this highlighter is also stunning. What's this? Peach Pearl. Yeah I have a really big dent in that too if you can't tell. These two I don't really use but I love this palette for traveling. It's amazing. This is my Rach Loves Pixie palette. I am keeping this. I almost have a pan in this shade. This is great in my makeup kit because it has, ooh, it has all of the colors in here. So I love this formula. This is my Jaclyn highlighter. This is the shade Ice. This is uh, the most beautiful highlighter ever. <laughs> like it is so stunning. It reminds me a lot of the cookie highlighter, but it is different. I'm gonna keep it. I love it so this much. This is the ABH blush stick. I am a, I, I didn't like this at first, but I have really learned to love it. I actually think it's great. This is the shade Peachy Cane. This is such a pretty color and it just makes the cheeks pop. So I am going to keep this. I do really like it now and it works really good on top of powder I found. So I like uh, it. I got from a subscription box, but I'm going to be giving this away. This is like a body glow and it is just way too deep for me. I have the Soul body glow which i like so much better than this one so i'm gonna keep the sole and get rid of this I'm pure getting rid one. of these uh cover effects glitter drops i thought i was gonna use these like i really thought hey you're gonna use these every day of your life blue glitter on the cheeks yeah but you know i didn't so i'm gonna get rid of these my Laura Lee los angeles glaze lit kit i am keeping this one this palette looks so rough Okay, I have a huge pan in Glow Gal. Love that shade. It is so beautiful. I mix these two shades together. I don't know what happened here. It just broke. I didn't even drop it or anything. It just broke out. Not that I even use that shade because it's too deep, but it's like, well, so it's a very messy palette, but I really like this formula. So and the last it. thing in here is this Rune Maxi blush. I think I'm going to keep this just because it's like a good affordable blush and I can use it in comparison videos and things. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. 
I thought I wasn't going to, but I think I am, so. Okay, so this is the finished Keep collection. There are 35 blushes and highlighters. And then over here, we have the giveaway pile, which is 12. So I know that that might not seem like a lot to y'all, but to me, I didn't think I was even going to get rid of this many. So I'm actually really proud of that. And I honestly didn't think that I had enough room in my drawers for 40 something products, almost 50 products. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with my collection. I don't want to get rid of any more than that. And I'm happy with how many things I did get rid of. So like this video, thumbs it up. If you want to see more declutters, I can definitely do that and subscribe to the channel. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.